Their early first quarterback, Barry Dan Mullen. Harry Lyles down on the field. Second. Welcome back to the Bridgeforth Stadium. And our impact players built by the Home Depot. Yeah, it's our turn to have a swing right at it. Watch out for Amar Amarian Dollison. He's their deep threat guy. He's 25 yards per catch, is second in the nation. And Shane Bruce, the linebacker for Coastal Carolina. Fifth year senior captain all five years here at Coastal Mac. Yeah. That is a ball. That's what I love. That's a ball player right there. That's a guy who didn't even not think about portal, it. Not that. I love my school. I'm tough. I love this team. Love my school. I'm a Coast. I'm a Sean Declare for life. He is a ball player. No surprise. He's a captain. Eight of two there on first down, second and eight. What's on now? W.M. Shout out. That's you. They love him. He's Your recording is set. WNBA countdown. Today, 746 to 8, 1 p.m. on 850 ESPN D. Single. Screens. Your recording is set. 2024 WNBA Finals, Minnesota Lynx at New York Liberty, today 759 to 10 0 p on 850 ESPND. It's gonna be third and two. Empty backfield. They're holding for Coastal to sub. That's Gorham Welch off the field. For net, he's gonna throw third and third and two and Gets up field, does Dollison. We just mentioned him a moment ago, and that's going to be a first down, Dukes. Cleb Lubin on the tackle, gain a four. This little rub route of man, you see the two guys coming across the field in the middle, setting the screen for Dollison to come across, kind of the pick play, if you will, or a rub across the middle of the field against man coverage, get Dollison open underneath. Coastal defensively active with their substitutions. That's Petaway off the left side. Good cut by Petaway in a big game. JMU 19. It's Fletcher who brings him down in another big play for the Dukes. Petaway does it. Nice shot. Little pin and pull action. Watch. Pause and dip the shoulder to slow down the defense. Then puts on the Jets to accelerate on the outside. You saw him that little pause. Got Shane Bruce out of the gap, and he's able to run to the outside. And a big block by the center, Tanner Morris sprung him. Now Tyler Purdy, another one of those Holy Cross players that came over with Chesney in the backfield. Purdy, a remarkable story, came over as a walk-on and earned the scholarship. They told us, don't expect to see Purdy bouncing outside that much, right? He's going to put his pads down. He's going to go do the dirty work and get those physical yards. Hey, what do you do, uh, north and south? Perfect. Look, we're on ESPN2. Wow, we're on ESPN2. He's seeking out the contact. So another third down. So a couple of switches on the offensive line. Josh Toner moved up to left guard. Keep an eye out that kind of an offensive line switch from both sides of the ball as Coastal continues to sub. It's, it's an interesting game. They do it to slow the tempo down of the offense. Right up the middle. Mr. North and South, Tyler Purdy. A.J. Williams brings him down. And you saw they, they brought in... Rather, Rebel comes in after the limp off at the left guard, and so they brought an inside plug blitz, maybe to confuse and bring in some new linemen. Good job picking it up on the inside zone, and great job by Purdy just lowering the pads, knowing the situation, and getting the first down. Again, the theme this week for JMU finish. Outgained ULM last week. Didn't result in a win. Barnett trying to change that. Goes to the end. And that's a throw Barnett 
So close. Oh. You, you saw him go through the progression. They're trying to hit the wheel route going down the sidelines. And I'm not sure he's not throwing this away at the end. Over, keep it high and outside of the receiver. But he, he's got to be careful. The safety coming over the top. He stared that down a little bit too long. But put it in a good place where only his guy could get it. Again, bursted on in the national scene against North Carolina. This Barnett, seven touchdowns in that game. Right up the middle, that's the speedster Petaway. Second and ten. Where he transferred in from. That's third down. You can just tell these teams tonight came to play football. And again with the subs, you see... Coastal subbing the D-line anytime they sub to try to slow the tempo down. They're, they're 39. Have to run that far every play. Two third down conversions for JMU on this drive. Third and nine. Barnett. Time. Barnett. Wide. And what a catch. What a throw. We're in the red zone. conversion on this drive. What a great pickup by the offensive line. Picking up that pressure. Well, I guess nobody needs on it. And let night work on the corner route to come open. That's a mature throw by Barnett to, to know and let his receiver work and take his time in the pocket to let the play develop. And credit the offensive line for allowing him that time against a defense that's been really good this year for the shot to clears. Four receivers out wide. Quick shot. Will it go? Touchdown, James Madison. Dukes. We strike board first. George Petaway. From nine yards out, Dukes get the scoring started. Really good block, and then go to the quick screen. Again, get it to your playmakers. Petaway's a great athlete. Let's get him the ball different ways. Get it to him on the quick screen. Put it in a playmaker's hand. Line the tailback up a receiver, and he takes it into the end zone. Max Lipinski on for the extra point. And the PAT is good. We on the board Petaway first. The ball in the first possession, but it resulted in a turnover this time. 11 plays, 67 yards. JMU strikes first. 